I got my driver's license! So, before we get the vlog started, this is a simple guide on how to get a driver's license in Japan. First, you decide whether you are going to a school in your area or a driving camp. Usually, if you go to a local school, it takes you two to four months to get your license. So, if you are busy with work or school, it's easier for you to make a schedule that fits you. On the other hand, if you go to a driving camp, it only takes two weeks, but you take the classes every day. But it's cheaper. If you choose driving camp, you need to pick a school that's not in your area. Which means you will stay there the whole time, but usually they offer you a place to stay and food every day. The first thing you learn is obviously getting used to drive, so you will learn all the basics here. Then you take the preliminary test at the school and work on getting a graduate certificate. And once you graduate, you come back to your hometown and will bring the certificate to the driver's license center in your area. Then you take the final paper exam and if you get 90 points out of 100, they'll give you your license. I picked a driving camp to get my license because it was cheaper and I wanted to explore a new place, you know? And this is how I went. Shit. Oh my god. I literally can't. Like, I literally just can't. Apparently, they forgot to tell me that they don't have an elevator. And I have this huge suitcase, and my room is on the third floor. And I have a class in like 20 minutes, so I gotta get ready. Day one just finished i'm so tired today i learned how to drive through curves and that was fun but i was just driving like for an hour and i was really tired i have a an early class tomorrow morning and it is 12 I really don't want to wake up tomorrow, but I kind of regretted that I came here. I was like, can I just go home now? Yeah, I still have like 13 days. <laughs> Thank you. 
just came back from classes. I talk to classes in the morning and later I have a driving class. I actually have a lot of classes today. But yeah, I just did my makeup and I'm heading to the class. I'm back in my room and I ordered this adapter thing because Wi-Fi here really sucks. I drove for an hour and it was fun but the teacher said I was too nervous so I was so focused when I drove like I'm so tired. I want to drive it flawlessly and safely. That's all I want. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh my god, the sitting was so hard. I finally did it. Yay! It's connected. at 7 and I didn't even get to eat breakfast and I'm so tired I'm gonna study a little bit I'm running out of water so I'm gonna go to the drugstore I really don't want to walk in the rain because it takes like like what 20 minutes to get to the drugstore and it's kind of far and I wanted to film but it's raining and I don't want my camera to get wet see you later I haven't used it, but we have dryers. We have this huge theater room. I haven't been here yet either, but this room is super cool. Also, we had this food bath area, and this was my most favorite thing about the dorm. And there were always no people. I don't know why, but I loved it. And this is my room. That was a long trip. I'm hanging with towels because this room is so dry. I'm doing this like every two hours. They dry like so fast. And that means this room is super dry, you know?
just did my laundry. Today I woke up at 6 a.m. I think I was doing pretty well and I passed the um, driving test. Right now I'm waiting for the result of the paper test I just took and then I will get the provisional license. Um, yeah, I'm just so glad that today is almost over and I'm gonna go eat lunch and I have like an hour till next class so i think i'm gonna get a little nap that was um, a little update So I don't think I did the room tour. I'm doing it right now. This is the bed. It's it's okay. It's kind of comfy. I like how everything is wide in this room. And this is the bathroom. It's kind of small, but I can't really complain. And there's a door, and I have this mirror, and I also have this laundry machine, and some cleaning stuff. Oh, I didn't know I have this. I have a microwave, and this is the sink. I brought some tea and coffee, because I don't really like the coffee from the vending machine and I have this tiny space for my clothes and my suitcase and I have this drawer and I hang all my laundries here there's a TV but I haven't watched anything and this is the window the view is really nice like I can see mountains from my house, but not this clear. Like it's like literally there. Like I can really see it. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, I just had lunch, so I'm gonna get a rest and go to the next class. I went to the post office and bought these cute postcards, and I'm gonna send this to my boyfriend and this one for my best friend in America
it's been a few days. I was pretty busy, so I kind of stopped filming. Um, so I got my temporary license. I was studying for like three hours a day, and I'm taking the second exam, which is the last one, in like two days. I had three classes today. And tomorrow morning, I'm driving on the highway for the first time. But apparently, it's gonna snow here. So, I'm a little nervous, but I hope the road won't be too bad. Today is January 23rd, and I'm going back to Tokyo on the 27th. So, I have like five or four days left. I just had dinner and I'm gonna take a shower and go sleep early because I have to wake up at 6 tomorrow I think I've been doing pretty good I can't believe it's been almost two weeks since I got here and the fact that I'm going to get the actual license soon I'm going back on Wednesday and I think I'm going to the driving center on Friday. Anyways, um, wish me luck! So today I have a um, car navigation practice. So apparently I'm gonna drive with the teacher and the uh, um, other student and I'm gonna do car navigation for him or her and they do the same to me so I have this like really old school map I don't know who uses this kind of map nowadays but and I'm so nervous because I'm so bad at looking at maps I was like why can't I just use Google Maps you know today I only have like four classes and tomorrow I only have two and then I have the exit exam so yeah, I'm heading to the class now and I had no energy for doing my makeup so I'm just gonna go out like this so I just went to take the mini test which I have to take before the um, exit exam and I passed it so um, all my classes are officially done I'm just gonna practice driving like three hours more but yeah that's just it I kind of made friends since I got here I, I literally didn't talk to anyone because I was so afraid of like getting COVID, you know? But yeah, the girl and I were in the same class today and yeah, we started talking and, and she was in the next door, which was surprising because we've never met before. Um, but yeah, that was fun talking with her and her friend.
I got my driver's license. I'm so happy right now. So yeah, now I can drive. Um, actually, I'm waiting for my mom because I'm not gonna drive all alone. We just came back from grocery shopping so my mom was literally freaking out when i was pulling over i was like oh my god we are fine but she was like she was literally like screaming and i was like can you stop i got so scared when she screamed like oh my god i wasn't doing that bad she's so dramatic but yeah she was impressed how good i was like she wasn't really trusting me so that's why she was freaking out but i feel so grown up right now i'm so happy that it's all over like i literally just started driving but i'm just so happy that i'm done with the school i was so nervous that entire time and on the day when i took the exam here i got my period and it was so bad and i couldn't go sleep till like 3 a.m and i only slept for like two hours and i went to the driving center and took the test and i thought i failed you know also the test was kind of hard like some problems weren't even in the textbook so i was so worried but um yeah i finally get the license and let me just show my license this is the license i don't know i don't love the picture but i look okay i just don't love it it's been kind of a long journey for me because I was so nervous before all the exams and stuff. So now I feel so relaxed and, and I'm so glad that I'm back home now. And next week I'm gonna go for a drive with my boyfriend and I'm so excited. I've always been like just vlogging and stuff but I thought that'd be really cool to share something about japan i hope this video was interesting and useful so thank you so much for watching yeah so i'm gonna go